guys, how are you doing? This is Mango etc. And I'm here today to bring you One Piece episode 690 review. Uh, this episode can be basically broken up into what happened in the palace, Dress Rosa, Level 2, the junkyard era, and the small factory. So I'm just going to be talking about what happened in them places in no particular order. So I think I'm going to start off with the easiest and then work my way up to the to the hardest or in essence what I think was more important than the other <laughs> but yeah okay I'm gonna start off with the John Card era we have Kinemon and he's there he's looking for Kanjiro and then he's looking 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 now and then after a while he starts to hear a noise and he tells everyone to be quiet so he can locate the noise and the scene basically ends off with him locating the noise so maybe Next episode, we'll see him find out what it is. Basically, um, the small factory. Basically, in the small factory, we've the Tontata, the slave Tontatas, have basically found out that they have been lied to all this time. And how they find this out is that Wicker and the Pink Bees, the idea to um get into the small factory was to basically send the slave Tontata. A message telling them that they've been lied to and get them to unlock the door from the inside so the slave ton tata now they found out that they've been lied to and they've basically taken over the small factory so now we're into this now we've got access into the small factory basically we also have this scene with the civilians of Jess Rosa what happens there is that first off we start off with a husband and wife and their child and obviously Dolphy's still controlling people with the strings and this husband now he's putting a gun at his his wife and he's basically telling her you know I wouldn't shoot you um, I'm basically gonna shoot um, if I do shoot you now it's because of the, the strings that's controlling me <clears throat> and we have other civilians they come in now and they they save him and then tie him up what else happens with the, with this um, civilians of Dressrosa crew? They also locate King Riku and Usopp and they decide we're gonna capture them so we can end this whole birdcage game. If, if that's what you wanna call it. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling it the birdcage game. And they, they decide to, to capture them so they can end the game. So the little bit ends off with them walking over to where King Riku and Usopp is and we have Usopp spot them from where he where he's sitting and then he's bugging out. <laughs> Moving on to what happened in the palace, we have Bellamina. He's finally reached the pal pa the palace and he's talking to Don Flamingo now and he's basically saying to him, "Did you really have Dillinger try and come and try and kill me? Am I not worthy of that like, becoming? I think it's to become an executive. I can't remember right now. But he's just basically asking those questions, and Dolphy goes on to tell him." me and you have wanted different things from the get-go he's basically saying no he's saying like we've had different things from the get-go you've always wanted to be a pirate but for me i've just wanted to be anything and all in for the aim of destroying the world now i don't know if Dolphy means destroy the world literally or figuratively we'll obviously we'll find that out later but that's what happened there and then moving on to the last bit that I'm gonna talk about is um is level two. Level two basically starts off we have Chin Jiao and all them the store fight and the fodder and then but in in our hops the executives they've joined the fight and they're fairly easily um handling all these people that don't Chin Jiao, the guy from the long arm tribe, the guy from the long hair tribe, they're easily handling them so they decided to stop working as a solo and join up together to beat everyone there and they they're doing fairly better now also in this bit we see luffy he's still running along and cavendish offers him a ride on his horse so he hops on now and they're all riding along riding along riding along and then out of nowhere kiros ap appears and we basically find out from kiros is that he's off the diamante he wants revenge because obviously he's the he's the diamante is the one that killed his wife so we find out that from there so i guess i'll move on to moving on to my rating i'm gonna give it a three star rating because 
like I've said in the past, it's not a, it's not a bad episode. Nothing bad happened. It's just that we're at the calm now. So, we, like I said, we got to move through the calm to get to the storm. <laughs> Is that even the same? But you know what I'm trying to say? Is that we got to go through the the calm stuff to build up to the hype stuff. So it's gonna be a free star rating today. Give me your point. Give me your point of view. What did you think? Rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.